Midjourney's development pace is quite extraordinary. It seems that every couple of weeks we get a substantial update that improves several different parts of the AI. This week's update, it's called Remaster, and it promises to improve the rendering of all your old images. Let's have a closer look. The way the feature works is really simple. You pick an image you think can be improved, copy the job ID, and then in Discord, type in show, and then paste in the job ID. The bot will find the old image and will give us several different options, among which the remaster button. And that's it, in a few seconds we'll get a revised version of that image. It's worth mentioning that the AI won't follow the original image to a T. In some cases there might be some big changes, but overall it will try to create a similar image with a lot more definition and resolution. Let's take this one as an example. This is from a prompt from a few weeks ago. I was satisfied with the result, but there are a couple of issues here and there. The left side of the image, for example, is not rendered the same way as the right, and there are also issues with the anatomy of the characters. So I was curious to see if Midjourney would pick up on these issues and try to improve them. And it looks like it absolutely did, but in the process it also made some bigger adjustments. For example, the house in the background. I'm not exactly sure why it made that change, but the good news is that the problematic areas are now fixed. There's no separation anymore between the left and the right side of the image, and the poses of the two characters are much more realistic. I also like the adjustments in the color palette. Midjourney has the tendency to add a lot of black, but with this remastered version, the system is a lot more restrained. It's worth noting that the remaster option might also go for some bigger stylistic changes. It has a tendency to go for more photoreal results. Let's take this image as an example. The only thing I would change would be some more definition in the brush strokes and more of the canvas texture showing through. Basically things that will enhance the painterly style. Something like in this quick Photoshop edit. Midjourney's remaster option though goes much further. Here's the two variations offered to me after running the function. They definitely don't look bad and there are several areas that are much more defined, but the overall look is completely different than the original. It would have been nice if we could somehow tell Midjourney the type of enhancement we expect from it, or even better, a way to tell which parts to keep but just slightly enhance. Another example of Midjourney going a bit too far is this one here. This is the original image. The elements that are already there are quite nice. I love the fact that this whole incident unfolds in what looks like a country road. But the remastered version just completely ignores all that and offers some very different environments. One image has a mountain range and the other one has a desert-like environment. That is quite a departure. Also the new black hole effect doesn't feel that great. In the original, there's a nice play between the dark and light areas, and I love the fact that the clouds are getting sucked into the black hole. In the revised images, the black hole effect feels less impactful. These are some specific cases where Midjourney's enhancements are not hitting the way they should. Most of the time though, the enhancements will look great. But before we go there, let me show you one example where you should definitely not use the remaster function. And that's when the images are very abstract. This is one of my favorite Midjourney images because the AI chose to display the prompt uncomfortable sadness in a very creative way. It's something we could easily see out of an artist. But here's the thing, this is not a good image for remastering. Midjourney feels the need to define the empty area of the face, and I can see why. From my understanding, the remaster feature is trying to define as much as possible any vague or abstract forms. So images like a character without a face is not going to work that well. To Midjourney's eyes, it's a mistake that needs to be corrected. But when we try the remaster feature on more predictable settings, the results we get back are great. Let's take as an example this image. It's supposed to portray a Martian landscape during a storm. It's an interesting image, but it's obvious that Midjourney doesn't know exactly how to portray this alien landscape. But after running the remaster feature, here's what we get back. This one definitely looks more like a Martian landscape. Or let's take this image here. 
the prompt was asking for a long, futuristic hallway imitating an octane render. When we look at the image closely, there's a lot of areas that are not clearly defined. For example, I kind of get the feeling that we're on a platform of a train station and not an actual hallway. On top of that, the end of the hallway is left to our imagination. It kind of looks like it should end at this point, but it kind of continues on a turn. It's not really clear how this hallway works. But after running the remaster feature, the result we get back is much more defined. This is clearly a hallway that has a beginning and an end. And the style is also on point. This looks more like a 3D render. The image is definitely not perfect, but I would say it checks out a lot more boxes than the earlier version. Another great example of how good remastering can be is this image here. It's supposed to portray a typical Day of the Dead makeup. It's not a bad image at all, but it's clear that Midjourney has some problems visualizing the makeup. Now here's how the image looks after remastering. The makeup is much more clear and defined, and it actually resembles a Day of the Dead makeup. A variation of the image is equally on point. I think the biggest problem with the remaster feature is that we cannot control this style. If we had a way to do that, it would make things much more predictable. For example, this is one of my favorite mid-journey landscapes. The colors, the composition, everything looks great. It does a great job imitating a painting. A low-res, blurry painting, but still a painting. Now here's how things look after we run the remaster feature. The image is certainly much more defined, and there's a lot more detail, but we completely lost the painterly look. This feels more like a photograph rather than a painting. What is also interesting is that we lost a lot of the brown tones that were prevalent in the original image. Not to mention the fog in the background, setting the tone for the image. So even though the original is much less defined and low res, I feel it's infinitely better than the remastered version. Just to make sure that this was not a weird glitch, I ran the remaster feature on another landscape. Apart from the blurriness, there's not much else to improve here. Now let's see how the image looks when remastered. <laughs> that is quite a difference. Everything is sharp and in focus. There's no separation between foreground and background, and the color palette is a lot more muted. This new version is doing a better job looking like a real image, but that wasn't the problem of the original. That's why I think that if we had a way to tell Midjourney what properties to keep, it would make even better images. But no matter what, this new remaster feature is a ton of fun. I've already spent way too much time adjusting older images. With the way Midjourney's development goes, I won't be surprised if we see some huge improvements with the remastering in just a couple of weeks. But I would love to hear what you think of this new feature. Has it improved your images, or is it more of a mixed bag affair? And with that, I think we've reached the end of this video. I will leave you with a couple more cool remasters, so make sure to stay until the end. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.